Ooh, we got some nasty stuff here. What's up, YouTube? Zach with Veteran Construction. So here, we had to do some digging to get our starter lines right. Um, took a lot to kind of figure that out, honestly. Um, it was a little tough to see how buried that stuff was and you know we had some rotten stuff down there the t111 was rotten and we're trying to get this starter on now you found one nice got both of them, yep. sweet i guess i'm not as big of a screw up as i thought i was um so yeah we uh what i did was it's probably easier to see on this side so i we snapped a level line across this entire house after spending way too much time trying to figure it out ignore the fact that there's two lines there we know which one's the good one but uh we spent way too much time trying to figure this out so um i wish i had done a little bit more of a video on the process of it so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to backtrack a little here and and get you guys caught up so here's a kind of a visual of what the house looks like this is the back of the house and um over here we have one of our smallest numbers down from that line it was like 22 well over just on this corner our biggest number and you can kind of see where they had painted this block foundation down here you can see how much we actually cut off of that t111 see a little bit left in that corner as well um yeah we we determined that that was way too long and we went ahead and did a little test cut to find out if we were going to expose too much of the bottom plate we weren't so we cut off what we needed so that now our starter will look like it's chilling because the next best option would have been to have started on this side exactly uh exactly where this dirt was which would have been much higher which would have been much higher than it is right now we would have lost as you can see just even right over here we would have lost a good a good uh inch and a quarter if we just kind of went where it was just doing minimal digging you know because that dirt was all the way up to that chalk line if you can't see that chalk line right there so so we would have lost an inch and a quarter there you know and as as i told you that other side was already kind of high in this corner over here so the next best thing probably from right around this this point somewhere in this area we would have had to start cutting metal or uh, bending metal putting it along this bottom strip here all the way around the rest of this house you see it's it's not just you know a small amount you know that would have been a lot of extra metal a lot of extra work so thankfully we were able to come through with a saw chop off the bottom in a lot of places you can see we did it pretty much all the way around this deck here and uh you know get that squared away and then we came to the front too and you could you can see I still got this uh you probably can't see let me get close so you can see I got this laser or not yeah this lasered on mark we just put the chalk line on it and then I've got some it squared the marks over here and I've got a couple other marks from where the you see the laser I just kind of set it up randomly and pulled numbers from my laser line to be able to continue this one but here's the front of the house So you can kind of see we definitely really need a laser since they came through and put on this stone. So we're going to have to put our left side on and figure out where it goes, make a mark. And then it should be the same over there. I double checked. That's what that marks was on the brick right there. Let me try not to spin you too quick. But uh, I had the laser set up for where we, where we had started on the other end, landed on this end. And then I came across the front here. I put a mark, put my mark here with my laser, got the bottom snapped. And then we are gonna be golden like a shower over here. So everything matched up. It was within like a 16th or something ridiculous. Could have been my pencil not being sharp. So we are right on the money for all that stuff and uh should be good i mean because we have to you can't just guess on this stuff you know if i had guessed and not used the laser tried to pull from the sofa you know this isn't just an easy little two side or four side house or anything like that side garage um so you know you get lazy with it you end up you end up off somewhere because we're gonna have to run 
siding up on top of this stone and across there and these lights are to be determined who knows but we can't fit a light block in there i don't know if you guys have any suggestions let me know i'm probably just gonna cut a wood block and just do what we can with it um because vinyl one won't fit you know and then we got to make sure obviously our corners match here so so far our laser line everything see i was over here dead nuts got a little work to do here yet with uh you see right there it's kind of starting to get a little bit rotten well it was pretty rotten through here you can see even in the even in the bottom plate a little bit got some so uh we're gonna replace all that give us something to shoot our wood to as well or our starter to oh one more thing so I didn't really want to go there but uh so these guys are doing starter finisher here see they just started with a full piece nice little gap there run another full piece and they're gonna have a little you know 30 inch finisher so what they're gonna do is they're gonna cut their 30 inches off of a full piece from this side right here what cut it they're gonna take this big piece that's left over with a blunt end and they're gonna throw it down and it works over there that works on this wall right that's the most scrap efficient method there is but it won't probably work on this wall. I haven't measured it there's a chance it could right you got about a foot worth of play depending on what's acceptable for your stagger length I don't like my staggers any more than inches this is kind of pushing it for me because you only get four pieces out of a you know 12 foot six piece so um you know it may not work on this wall so that's something i think about because i know a lot of guys you guys might think this is a little strong but you know there's other people that don't even know this kind of thing exists they just pick two foot as a stagger for every wall you know um first off that's a dumb number if your if your stuff is 12 foot six because 30 inches is more scrap efficient than that and not only that, with uh, these formulas I've been working out, 30 inches is actually the most scrap efficient stagger that you can make, right? But 30, 30 doesn't work everywhere. For example, they can't just do start a finisher up everything because once you get to this wall or this window here, the number changes, right? So we put that new number in and these are the only acceptable staggers that will work, right? So we pick the number closest to what this stagger is going to make that stagger is going to make roughly a like i said a 30 something inch 28 is the highest number that'll work so when it comes in between this wall they're going to continue with the most similar stagger that they can make right and then obviously here uh this is all um those are all full pieces but we'll have to redo some math here too you know and again we'll have a, a length that goes all the way here we'll decide what stagger to make based on the total length, but we're gonna have from this window to that corner post, which isn't up yet, we're gonna have to change that up too. So right here, we might have a finisher starter method, right? And then up here, we may have a 30 inch stagger. So we don't know, I probably shouldn't write that because these boys are gonna just run with it. But uh, yeah, so I've actually spent a lot of time putting together this formula based on uh, my understanding of siding and I'm not going to break that down because I don't want any freaks out there to try to steal this shit before I got a chance to put it in an app because guess what happens to me all the time uh, I show up underprepared I'm too willing to share information and things get stolen ideas get taken it happened with the 2020 roof olympics and fucking schemesters and all that shit so fuck them uh, this is my shit and uh, I'm bringing it to the public so I spent fucking night after night trying to figure out these formulas and uh finally getting them all put into an excel sheet was a, a bitch and it should be up on my website already but it's not so i have to fire somebody i don't fucking know but i'm gonna get this stuff to you guys one way or another in the meantime i'm gonna write down the stagger links on all these walls so thank you guys for watching i appreciate it don't forget to like and sub bye